ABC 17 News investigates what made several MU police officers respond to a residence hall last week without a campus notification. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lucas Geisler. Megan has the night off. Now, last Friday, we reported a heavy police presence on campus, but no alert was sent out to students. ABC 17's Mitch Kaminsky is live on campus with more on why notification was sent. Mitch, you got a hold of the police report for this call. Lucas, last Thursday, UMPD police officers received a call from somebody saying they had a shotgun and they were going to commit suicide. Officers rushed to the scene only to find the call was fake. A police report we got from an open records request says a dispatcher heard the sound of a shotgun slide being racked and a shot going off before the phone call ended. It was a suicide threat that sounded all too real. Police went to Schur's Hall where the caller said he was and began to search the bathrooms. However, officers found nothing. The search expanded to other nearby residence halls on the first floors and the basement. One by one, the buildings were cleared. The call was from an unidentified number from Canada. But with such a heavy police presence, why was no safety notification sent? We, we always take the safety of our students uh, to be our number of priority. Um, we will always take calls like this seriously uh, because we certainly don't want anybody to injure themselves or others. Uh, the nature of this call um, was a single individual who expressed a desire to harm himself. Um, and the re officers responded accordingly um, based on that. Uh, there wasn't a wider threat to campus uh, or to the campus community, so that's why uh, there wasn't an alert put out. Some students on social media expressed frustration after the incident, but MUPD says it's an alert policy that is well-defined on its website. And we use uh, a thorough thought process when we do that because we don't want to put out so many alerts that the um, campus community becomes numb to alerts and starts to ignore them and such. So we want them to take them seriously. Orland says police officers talked to several students and RAs on the, in the area to try and get more information, but no signs of an emergency were found. He also had all the correct procedures were followed and that a thorough investigation was, was, uh, it was conducted. Live from the University of Missouri, Mitchell Kaminsky, ABC 17 News. All right, Mitch, thank you. Police say they were never able to get in contact with the caller.